If you're born a Muslim, you will be run by Muslim law. If you're born a non-Muslim, you'll be run in the normal way that everyone else in the country is. The Archbishop, who is, says, it's extraordinary we've got to this stage, but the Archbishop, in promoting Sharia law, apart from the fact he should resign, has made life incredibly difficult for progressive Muslims in this country who want to object to Sharia, and he's made it vastly easier for extremists to see there's something they can get if they hold on long enough. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out another video from Douglas Murray titled Douglas Murray vs. Tariq Ramadan on Sharia law legislation in UK. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's start with the video. Go. In this country, we're joined by Douglas Murray of the Centre for Social Cohesion from Rotterdam by Professor Tariq Ramadan of Oxford University. And the Bishop of Hume is still with us uh, from Manchester. Um, Professor Ramadan, is there any head of steam in the Muslim community here, serious head of steam for the introduction of Sharia law? Look, no, I, I don't think that you will find, you know, Muslim organizations and Muslim leaders asking for uh, something which has to do with Sharia law. But what we have to do first is really to define what we are talking about. I really think, having, you know, followed the whole discussion around the Archbishop of Canterbury, that what we are saying now, what he said is unfair. He was not at all, and you know, he knew exactly yeah, okay, what fine. he is speaking yeah, about okay. when he is referring to to, to Sharia, Sharia law. He's not talking about, you know, uh, cutting heads and this is not what he's talking about. He was talking mainly about family laws within the British system. Yes, and I think that now we are just uh, saying things about him which are not fair. So I want to start with this because knowing his discourse, I really think that all this controversy is not at all in tune with his spirit and the way he's looking at things. Okay, fair now, enough. We'll come, the the, we'll come to the interpretation in a second or two, if, if we may. No, 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 but I think it's really important. It, yeah, okay, hang on, let me just bring in Douglas really Murray here. It's really important for us. Let, another, let me just answer no, no, just, your question. I'm sorry, I'm going to bring Douglas Murray here because there's another important qualification which he accepted in his lecture, which was that the, the jurisdiction of these courts, in whatever form they existed, would clearly only apply to people who accepted the authority of the court, who were believers, in other words. Well, let's take it like this. Uh, thanks to the Archbishop's comments. Um, if, if, he, if he saw what he wants to see, a Muslim girl born in this country would, because she was born to a Muslim family, be treated in her courts, in Sharia courts in this country, as being worth half the worth of testifying of her non-Muslim neighbor. That is what would happen. We would be no, ghettoizing people into this implying that if you're born a Muslim, you will be run by Muslim law. If you're born a non-Muslim, you'll be run in the normal way that everyone else in the country is. The Archbishop, who is, says, it's extraordinary we've got to this stage, but the Archbishop, in promoting Sharia law, apart from the fact he should resign, has made life incredibly difficult for progressive Muslims in this country who want to object to Sharia, and he's made it vastly easier for extremists to see there's something they can get if they hold on long enough. At the very least, Bishop, what he's done is to enable Muslims in this country to say, look, we don't accept your legal system. There are better systems. There's the word of God as revealed in Sharia law, and the Archbishop of Canterbury tells us so. Well, that's exactly what he didn't say in the lecture, and those of us who have read it, and I think you've read it, Jeremy, from the sound of things, actually would acknowledge that um, he identified very clearly the issues of injustice that were in certain aspects of Sharia law, which this country would want nothing to do with, and that our legal system would have to make quite clear that there were values within our legal system, which would mean that certain aspects of, for example, the treatment of women had to be dealt no. with properly by, this is by not the legal no, system. This is not to do with the 95% of Sharia, which its apologists say is, the, is, is not to do with hand chopping. There are the, all the, 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 the issue of Sharia, which I don't know if you're familiar with this, but if you're dealing with Sharia in this case, it is dictated in the Quran, in the second book of the Quran, that women are worth half that of men. Now, if you want to have a parallel legal system in this country, did which, you actually throws out, which throws out the, the uh, rights accomplishments of this country, runs roughshod over them, and decides that women are worth half of you, then I resent the fact that you're trying to speak for anyone, let alone I, Christians. Have you, have you actually read the lecture and did I, you see in the lecture? Absolutely, I read the lecture and I found out what I could from it and I listened to the interview he gave, in which might I add, in his interview, he said that it was wrong that everyone should be treated under the same rule of law in this country. He said that there were problems from that. I don't think there are problems from that. I think that's one of the best accomplishments we've got, that everyone is equal before the law. And the head of your church is saying,
saying that it should be different? No, what he, the head of the church is saying that there are certain aspects of the different cultural tra religious traditions of our society which should be respected, if at all possible, within our legal system. For example, is it not right that, w uh, that men and women can be married in mosques as they are in uh, synagogues, as they are in churches and chapels? Is it not right, for example, and our society is already adapted to this, that aspects of uh, the Muslim approach towards money and finance should be accommodated within our system. And we've actually adopted our financial laws in order to exactly. be able to Exactly. It's already been accommodated. Yes, but that's one yeah. aspect. Yeah. And we've done right. it. So okay. we've already taken aspects okay. of Sharia law into this system. Seconds out. Uh, Tariq Ramadan, can you um, just tell us what effect has this controversy or what is, effect is it beginning to have in the Muslim community? Uh, look, first the Muslims and the Muslim organizations are not asking for a parallel system. They are law-abiding and they, uh, they, there is room for us to remain Muslims and fully Muslims within the legal British system and there is no problem. Within Isn't this the, system, can I, can I just ask you, on a question of, can I ask you on a question of fact? Apostasy, denying the faith, is punishable by death under Sharia law, isn't it? No, no. Look, every look once again, you are the, exactly you are you are. Exactly. Lo Is that true you are or not? Following in Is the it true or not? Of, can can I can I can I answer? Because you are asking question, and when Murray is talking, you let him talk, and, and when I am talking, you don't let well, me. Well, then I suggest finish, you like, answer the sentence. question, please. Uh, I am I'm answering the question, telling you that you are following in the footsteps of Mr. Murray, coming with a perception of Sharia that it's monolithic and there is no room for interpretations. Your understanding of apostasy is not the only Islamic answer. And I and others, the Mufti of Egypt recently said, you know, that you can change your religion and you are not going to be killed. So don't come with something which is a simplistic definition of Sharia and do what Murray is doing, which is using this controversy to nurture an Islamophobic oh, uh, oh, discourse. Right. The people around us, this is exactly what you are doing, Mr. You Murray. think it's Islamophobic to point out that we think that women British, should be treated equally to me, men? Let me finish. Let me finish. The, the people should understand and our fellow citizens should understand that the Muslims are not asking for a parallel system and there are many interpretations relating to Sharia and it's much more open exactly. than that and don't come well, something which is a superficial discourse. Okay. I'm sorry well, to Sueb say Hassan was on the television last week, last Sunday night. Which is not acceptable. Last Sunday night, Sueb Hassan from the Islamic Sharia Court of Britain was on the televisions across this country on Channel 4 saying that but he, this would is like, interpretation he would like the the majority of the Muslims are not following hands that. Chopped off, I'm sorry that to tell we you, know Mr. That's Murray. Where it leads, Mr. Ramadan, we know Mr. where that's Murray, where it you leads. are just using. You are using the controversy to spread fears in the British society. There is a the good reason to be fearful of, of Sharia, Mr. Politics. Ramadan. You, can I, can, you, can, let's just no, take this back. Let's, let's go, let's, before yes. we argue about interpretations of Sharia, and this is one of the many problems, as even you acknowledge, Mr. Ramadan, there are so many interpretations. The key to this is, is a belief somehow that hundreds of years of removing religion from the legal process of this country should somehow be reversed. And that's a thing that's very hard nobody for a lot of people to Nobody is asking this. No, nobody is asking this. I'm, uh, you know, the great majority of the Muslims are saying something else. When, for example, in the British law, there is justice for everything, uh, for everyone, equality before law. This is our Sharia. We don't have a problem with this. When you are telling me, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm respecting the British law, because within the British law, there is equality before law. This is our Sharia. So don't come with a, a nurture, this perception that we are... We have a, a, a closed system which is against the British system. Absolutely. This is simply not true it's in for the, the great majority of the Muslims living in Britain and in Europe. This is not true. It's this also is the what case. people like Murray are using to well, build uh, to build well, the walls Murray, between the people and nurturing fine, fine, a okay. rejection of Muslims. Let, it is the case, is it not, that there are all sorts of exemptions that people are entitled to on the profession of religious belief. For example, um, doctors being required to perform abortions can object on religious grounds. There are all sorts of religious institutions, quasi-religious courts in this country. The Jews have them, for example. Why shouldn't the Muslims? We should clear up this for a start, which the Archbishop of Canterbury has also got wrong, which is that Jewish courts in this country are, first of all, informal, and secondly, voluntary. They do not have any rights that supersede or stand equal to British law. The Sharia notion is that it stands not only equal, but superior to British law. The Jews have just been thrown out. No, 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 no,
you're, 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 you're inventing. You're sacrificed the rest of it. This is a totally different thing. This, if you want to throw Islamophobia around for Mr. Ramadan, let's talk about the anti-Semitism of the notion that you you're, say, you are, oh, you well, are we will give the Sharia you are, you are guys. Just, 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 hey, just both of you, hold on a second or two. Bishop, you can have the last word. I'm just appalled about how the whole debate has been now cari uh, caricatured, really, uh, of what it was actually about in the first place. The Archbishop of Canterbury, as the religious leader of this country, actually brought an issue to a, an, a, an intellectual discussion about the whole issue of the way in which one community and its culture was being treated, and there were issues within that culture which needed addressing uh, in relation to equality uh, compared with other religious organizations okay. like the church okay. and so on. All right, and and now it's all run away. Thank you. Wow. What an interesting debate. You can tell this was really, really heated. Wow. Just by the title... Douglas Murray vs. Tariq Ramadan on Sharia law legislation in UK. Wow. And you can tell Douglas Murray has stated his facts. Tariq Ramadan has also stated his facts. But I feel so, I don't know how to express this. Um, I don't expect a bishop should say something like that, that... Uh, if you are born a Muslim, you should be uh, treated within the Sharia law. And if you are born uh, a Christian, you should be treated with the British law. I'm really surprised that a bishop uh, is saying something like that. So I don't know what the bishop mean by that. Is he trying to support Sharia law? Or is he trying to support Sharia law legislation in the UK? So I'm very surprised that uh, a bishop we say something like that. Uh, despite the fact that uh, he, I believe he's trying to uh, talk for the Muslim people, he's trying to give the Muslim people room to be treated just as every other citizen. But I feel the statement is really unacceptable. How could you say something like that that you want, if you are, uh, you say something like that, that if you are born a Muslim, that you should be treated. Uh, 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 with the Sharia law. And I believe all Muslims don't share that, that view because I believe a uh, few percentage of, of Muslim population, they are in support of Sharia law. But I also believe that, that all Muslims don't want Sharia law to be legislated in the UK. Knowing how the law is very, very, very sweet, you can imagine, according to the law, that if you are a Muslim and you decide to denounce Islam, and go to a, an, another religion that you can be cute for that. And the last time I was hearing one Muslim speaker talking about uh, Sharia law being legislated uh, in the UK, he gave some certain points that in Sh that if Sharia law is legislated in UK, that UK will become more peaceful, that UK citizen will become more abiding citizen. And he gave some example by uh, I think mentioning some uh, Islamic countries that practice the Sharia law and he claim those countries that there is less crime rates that if Sharia law can also be legislated uh, in the UK that uh, a lot of a lot of crimes will be reduced then i think he gave example of some of the laws in the Sharia law that if you commit an adultery that you are supposed to be stoned to death and if you commit fornication you are supposed to be flogged Hundred, you are supposed to be brought uh, uh, to the public and flog hundred latches of cane, and we can all tell that this law is very strict. I believe not just the Christian, even the Muslim, even uh, some some few uh, population of the Muslim, they are not in support of the Sharia law. So I'm very very surprised that a bishop, a Christian bishop, uh, uh, is altering such statements that. Uh, Muslim should be treated uh, with Sharia law. If you are born within the Muslim, within Islam community, that you should be treated uh, with the Sharia law. So I feel that is totally unacceptable. And I feel that a lot of this uh, Islam fundamentalists, Islam extremists are going to use that as an opportunity to, to push the Sharia law forward so uh, it can be legislated in the UK. And we all, we know that Sharia law is very strict. And I don't think Sharia law should be uh, a law that should be legislated in the UK. And 
according to Douglas Murray and the other speaker, the point they were giving that Sharia law, in Sharia law, if you leave the religion that you are supposed to be killed, and you can imagine people being killed because uh, they try to express their freedom of religion, they try to choose a religion that they feel is good for them. Imagine people being killed for that. I feel that is totally unacceptable. And there are also some, some laws that I feel that uh, are, are, are really very strict, just like the law of adultery. If you commit uh, if you commit adultery, you are supposed to be stoned to death. And if you commit fornication, you are supposed to be flogged under latches of cain in public. And we all know that Sharia law does not promote uh, equality of gender. Just like the point, uh, the point Douglas Murray gave that uh, uh, a woman, a woman uh, is treated as half of a man, which means for 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 a woman to be able to defend uh, in, uh, to defend herself in court uh, or to bear witness of an incident, you need to get uh, two women to stand in place as one man, which I believe uh, is is not fair. Which I believe is not fair. It's not promoting equality. And that's what Douglas Murray is talking about, that for a bishop to say something like that is totally unacceptable. That means he's promoting Sharia law indirectly and giving the extremists and the, and is, uh, uh, the extremists within Islam, giving them the opportunity for them to be able to push the motion forward for Sharia law to be legislated in UK. And I believe that is totally unacceptable. If you are in a country and you feel... Uh, you can't abide by the country's culture, you can't abide by the country's tradition, you can't abide by the country's value system. It's better you go to oh, it's better you go to an Islam country, go to a Muslim country where when no where no one will question your action. So I believe British as a nation has its own identity. UK has its own identity, and we all know that uh British identity is embodied and rooted in British culture is embodied in British tradition, is embodied in British uh, value system. So if you are coming into a country, you should be able to adjust yourself to accommodate the people's culture, to accommodate uh, the people's belief, to accommodate the people's value system. So I'm surprised uh, a bishop is saying something like that. That means it's, uh, it's indirectly promoting Sharia law, it's indirectly uh, talking to uh, the government to legislate Sharia law in UK, which I believe that is totally unacceptable. And according to Tariq Ramadan's point of view, he's saying that uh, the Muslims are not pushing for Sharia law to be legislated in UK. And he also made a statement that Shari uh, Sharia law is closely the same with uh, British law, that the way British law is, that that what they are seeing uh, in British law is the same thing they have in Sharia law, which which I find difficult to believe. If you are telling me what uh, we are seeing in British law is the same thing as what we are seeing in the Sharia law, that means you are indirectly saying uh, British law uh, does not promote equality, which I believe that is totally unacceptable because that's the statement she, he just made that uh, the, the British law is almost closely the same uh, with the Sharia law. Because what, what they have in the British law is the same thing as what they have in the Sharia law, which I find, which I find totally absorbed. And I believe that's not, that's not true. And he also said, uh, he also mentioned a statement that Douglas is, is trying to, uh, is trying to translate, uh, the Sharia law out of context. He's speaking, he's, he's simplifying the translation. I don't know how hence you want Douglas to translate the Sharia law because it is what is written that Douglas is stating, because I believe the fact Douglas have mentioned that he talk about if he uh, talk about you leaving Islam that you can be killed for that and some other laws in the Sharia law that does not promote equality of women. I believe that's what Douglas is stating, and the and the uh, Tariq Ramadan is saying that Douglas is not uh, translating the law very well. That Douglas is simplifying simplifying the law. How else can Sharia law be translated from what is written uh, in the Sharia law? So I don't really understand that, but I understand uh, Tariq uh, Ramadan's view that not all Muslims are promoting that Sharia law to, should be re legislated. And he also mentioned a point that Sharia law, uh, 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 that Douglas is translating, is simplifying 
uh, the translation. I don't know if Sharia law has a different translation. I don't know if Sharia law can be translated. If the law is saying, if you, if the law is saying, if you commit adultery, you should be stoned to death. And the law is also stating that uh, if you leave, if you leave Islam that you should be killed. If you commit adultery, you should, you should be flogged under latches of cane. That is what the law is saying. So how else can you translate what has been written in the law? Is there a different translation for uh, Sharia law apart from what has been written? Because I believe if Sharia law is stating that if you commit adultery, you should be stoned to death, that is what is written. Is there, is, there, is there another translation for that? I don't really know. So I've really learned a lot just uh, listening to Douglas Murray and listening to the other speaker, listening to Tariq Ramadan, and I believe that Sharia law should not be legislated in the UK because I believe a lot of people are going to go through, 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 through a lot if it's legislated. And I believe what the bishop also said, what the bishop also said, I believe uh, the bishop shouldn't have said that. I didn't really expect that from uh, someone that called himself a bishop. I'm really surprised that that word is coming out from a bishop. So I would like to hear your comments. Let's get the conversation rolling. Do you think Sharia law should be legislated in the UK? Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Oh,